I'm Kimmy and welcome to View from the Recovery Trail. That was good. <laughs> hey, I'm Kimmy. <laughs> it's View from the Recovery Trail. Welcome to View from the Recovery Trail. I'm Kim and I'm a news anchor. This is annoying me. Alright. Hey guys. Hi. Hi. I'm Kimmy, and I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome to View. Welcome, welcome to View from the Recovery Trail. I have a cold. Hey guys, I'm Kimmy, and welcome to View from the Recovery Trail. Some things to know about me: I am a nomadic wanderer. I love to travel. I love exploring new places. I love photography. I consider myself to be a super auntie to four amazing kiddos. I love to advocate. I love music, singing, and I love all things peanut butter. Seriously, I love all things peanut butter. Um, I am also a fighter of CHD. Don't know what that is? Most people don't. CHD is actually known as congenital heart defects or congenital heart disease, depending on who you talk to. There are over 2 million of us living with and fighting this disease in the United States alone. There are 30 to 45 different types and variations of these defects, and it is still the number one leading cause of birth defect related deaths in the United States. I was born with Tetralogy of Fallot, missing my pulmonary valve, a hole in my heart, pulmonary atresia, ventricular septal defect, I have tachycardia, arrhythmias, I have two device implants. Those implants help regulate my heartbeat and shock me out of any um, arrhythmias that I may have. Um, I've had six open heart surgeries and survived them, 30 different procedures, and a multitude of other things that I've had to do. Three years ago, my life changed exponentially. I was living my life, working on my career, and I was watching my body deteriorate. And I can still remember the phone call from my doctor, who is amazing by the way, and a superstar, um, where he said that there's nothing more that we can do for you. And I remember it was the end of the summer, there were 60 teenagers running around the park, and all I could do was cling to a tree and think, this is it, and I just started to cry. A really important fact to know about me, I'm pretty stubborn, and I love my independence. So the idea of giving up the normal life that I had created for myself, leaving friends, leaving my career, leaving my program, my coworkers, and the life that I had built for myself, leaving everything seemed like the worst decision ever. However, I knew it was the one that I needed to do in order to heal. Uh, thankfully, I come from a small coastal town and I have two wonderful parents who were ready to take me back and help me live a new normal. And so I moved home into my childhood bedroom. Here it is. And I had to start relying on my parents. And this was really hard for me. The first few months I spent in bed just recovering, uh, my body had gotten to a point where it couldn't do anything for itself. And I needed <clears throat> to figure out what the heck am I gonna do now? I have no purpose. My purpose was to be a social worker, to help other people, and that made sense. That made my heart problem make sense. So my parents decided to get me a camera and get me out walking again. And with the camera, I would walk a little bit farther to get the shot. I started to forget about the pain I was in, and I started to find beauty behind the lens. And from there, really, View from the Recovery Trail was born. <clears throat> I am an advocate. Uh, being an advocate gave me purpose. And when I left my career, I didn't have that. 
by taking pictures and posting them on Instagram and starting my blog and writing about my journey and the things that I was going through, suddenly I had purpose again. And I had a community of people that I was learning about and that was supporting me. And it changed everything. But the more I posted, the more I realized that there was no big voices out there. I couldn't find one single YouTube video of someone like me that looked like me that had been through things like I had been through. There are over two million of us and I couldn't find anybody that I could connect with. And having CHD sometimes can feel so lonely. I, I felt alone. And part of using social media is to connect with people. So I've decided that my next big project is bringing View from the Recovery Trail to YouTube. You're welcome. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, it was time to bring my story to vlogging. CHD strugglers and fighters, uh, we struggle to breathe, we struggle to fight, and we struggle to push through. And I don't want to feel alone anymore. I don't want to do this alone anymore. I have no clue what I'm doing. I have no clue if this is gonna make any difference, but I thought, if anything, it might help me through my fight. And by putting myself out there, my passion for um, advocacy and my personality, that maybe I can meet others like me, other people that are fighting chronic illnesses, other people that are fighting congenital heart defects and that maybe the world would pay a little more attention to these amazing heart warriors that are out there fighting to stay alive until science catches up with them. So this channel is all about the realities of CHD. It's going to be about the hope. It's going to be about the stories of courage. It's going to be about the struggles and it's going to be about the moments of laughter. Um, and really, I hope that you subscribe, that you like, that you comment, introduce yourself. I want to know your stories and I want to know what you're dealing with. And I hope to create a community that not only inspires me, but maybe also inspires you as well. Um, I really hope that you join me on this next journey and you enjoy my views from the recovery trail. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye.